And here we go again! The great game of optical illusions is about to begin. Strap in your seatbelt and hold on to something. We're rolling! Ah, look at these flowers! Pretty, aren't they? Especially against such a bleak gray background. Anyway, pay special attention to their centerpieces. Do they seem different in size to you? If so, then look again. They're absolutely similar. It's all because of the surrounding petals. The bigger ones make the center look smaller and vice versa. Even a close-up doesn't help, but you can remove the petals in your mind's eye and see for yourself. Moving on to the next one. Look at the walls here. Are they flat or not? I bet you're seeing them as a bit wavy, as if there are pits and bumps in them. This effect is reached thanks to the combination of the opposite colors, the gradients inside the squares, and the little squares inside the bigger ones. The drastic change of color messes with our perception, making the squares look like cubes or other 3D shapes, while all there is are just perfectly flat surfaces. Let's give your eyes a little rest and take a look at the beautiful scenery. Oh, whatever. We're going into the inferno. Anyway, prepare for the next room and keep your eyes peeled. Ow! You're gonna need them. Remember that I told you the walls seemed wavy in the previous room? Forget it. That's what I call wavy. Even if you keep your eyes glued to a single spot, the pattern seems to be moving. And if you dare to shift your gaze, <laughs> try not to go dizzy. Both the squares and the dots have the opposite colors, so your brain can't process the information fast enough. Now, if you look forward, please, in this tunnel, you'll see several colors intertwined and going in a mind-boggling spiral. How many colors are there? I can tell you, there's purple, orange, and green. That's it, three. If you're seeing blue or pink, your eyes are deceiving you. Those two extra colors might appear, again, because of the clash of colors the tunnel is painted in. If you look at something green for a few seconds and then shift your gaze to a white surface, you'll see purple and vice versa. And when they move quickly, they can trick your brain into believing there's something else. Now, this is a perfectionist little torture chamber. Or, well, not so little. Anyway, look closely at the patterns on the walls. Just look at them. A couple more seconds. If they seem to be not parallel to each other, then you're not looking well enough. Just mentally remove the short crossing lines on the pattern, and you'll see the remaining lines will never cross each other. This effect is due to those short lines you've just removed in your mind. Well, you probably guessed it already anyway. But this time, I'll show you another illusion. There's only one object worth looking at, and once you've seen it in its entirety, you won't be able to unsee it. It looks like a simple pillar in the middle of the room, right? Now, look at its sides, and tell me if you see anything odd about them. Two faces on the left and right, looking at each other, from whatever angle you look. Yeah, those ones. And now, try to remove this image from your mind and eyes. Nope, neither can I. <laughs> well, moving on, nothing else to see here. Okay, this one you've seen already, so you might guess what it's about. There are three colors here, white, purple, and green, with one other peeking at you from just outside your field of vision. Share with me in the comments which one you see. For me, it's pink again. Or is it blue? Nah, definitely pink. There it is. Can't you see it? Just there. Ah, come on. All right, now you need to look right in front of you, at the gray frame around the rail, specifically. Are the left and right parts of it of the same shade or of different ones? Well, when the sand column crashes down, you see they're two parts of one frame. Tricked you, huh? By the way, the gray squares on the white and black walls on the sides are also of the same exact shade, if you were wondering. Going to the next room through this weird corridor, and the dominating object here is the colorful wall on the left. I'll move along it left and right for you to guess what's wrong with it. Or with your eyes, for that matter. Since it's an optical illusion, you might have already noticed that, whatever direction you go, the picture on the wall seems to be moving with you. Remember those creepy paintings that have their eyes glued to you wherever you stand? This is the same effect achieved thanks to the clever use of perspective. The pillars getting shorter to the sides help, 
and the contrasting black and white stripes make the picture look three-dimensional where it's not. At the same time, the patterns can also seem both pyramids and pits, depending on where you look from. So don't break your eyes, please. <laughs> this illusion is not about seeing some other non-existent colors for once. But you still have to look for one color, green. See the stripes? Depending on what other color is next to the green ones, they seem to be of either lighter or darker shade. On the walls, the white color is dominating the scene, so the green stripes look bright and vibrant. But in the front, where there's no white, the green is much darker, or so it seems. In reality, it's all the same. Time for a little break again. Now, look in front of you again. Don't pay attention to the walls, although they're beautiful, granted. See the arch? The two parts of it seem too out of place, and they clearly won't connect if you remove the sand column. Or will they? In fact, this is, of course, one arch, and removal of the column will only make you see it with your own eyes. And again, green is playing tricks with your eyes. It's the same picture with a different pattern. In fact, the green stripes on the left and right of the ceiling seem to be of different shades. Well, in reality, they're not. What makes them look different is the contrast. On the left, the green parts replace the black ones, while on the right, they're placed between the black parts. Same with the blocks on the walls, obviously. And here we go! The mesmerizing trip around the mind-blowing illusions is over, and we're going up. Hope you had a good time, everyone! I think I'm gonna barf.